Today, I want to share 10 benefits of not drinking alcohol for 863 days. Now, very quickly, just before we get into it, I want to share these benefits with you because when I was trying to find a solution to my problem, what really helped me was listening to people who have been there and got the result that I wanted. So I really want to give you some inspiration to help you on your journey. Now, I've already made a number of videos talking about the benefits of being a non drinker. So I really want to focus on the benefits that I'm experiencing right now. If you want to hear the benefits of being one year sober or two years sober, then you can go and watch the previous videos. But I want to talk about the great things that are happening in my life right now as a result of being a non-drinker. Like I said, when I was trying to find a solution to my problem, that's what would have inspired me. So I really want to be transparent and honest with you guys and just share what is going on right now. And just before we get into it, if you want to get access to the free training showing you how to apply first principles thinking to get 100% control of your drinking, then make sure to click the link in the description. In that training, I'm going to share how I discovered first principles thinking. I'm going to talk about some of the mistakes people make, and I'm also going to talk to you about the two phases of becoming sober clear. So guys, the very first benefit comes down to confidence. I feel like my confidence has reached new heights. Don't mean to say that in an arrogant way, but I feel very comfortable in my own skin. Obviously, these benefits were apparent, you know, during the first year, during the second year, and and just now, they've just kind of reached new heights. I feel more and more confident about who I am, what I'm doing, what I'm trying to portray, how I'm trying to express myself, and I just don't feel low levels of self-esteem anymore. Not gonna lie, when I drank, I did feel low levels of self-esteem. I didn't feel good about myself. I'd beat myself up. I just knew that what I was doing wasn't gonna progress my life. So naturally, I didn't feel very good about who I was. Now, since stopping drinking, my confidence, it's so much better. It's night and day, and it just keeps going up and up and up. It almost feels strange to talk about confidence because I don't want to come across as arrogant. But if confidence is something that you've always struggled with and you are a drinker at the moment, I just wanna tell you that when you get rid of that, this confidence comes back. You can be yourself again. You can express yourself again. There's no way in hell that I wouldn't be making YouTube videos if I was still drinking. There's no way in hell I would have started Sober Clear and started this business if I was still drinking. There's no way I'd have had the coaching program helping other people stop drinking if I was still drinking because I wouldn't have had the confidence. I wouldn't have had the self-belief. I wouldn't have had the self-esteem to actually go through with the activities that I just described. So that's the first benefit. Confidence just goes to a new level. Now, the second benefit that I found is that I've pretty much recreated my character. So when I first got sober, I was working as a personal trainer. That was all going good. And then I decided that I want to be able to work on the internet. So what I did is I moved to Asia and I didn't have very many skills. I had some basic skills, but I didn't know how to make videos. I didn't know, there was just so many things that I didn't understand. And what I did is I got this freelance work I started working with this company doing video marketing and I learned these new skills and I literally recreated who I was. I thought that I was a personal trainer. That's what my identity was wrapped around. Then I recreated my identity to think of myself as somebody that created content on the internet, somebody that helped people online. And that was a true character shift. I'd almost like killed this old version of me that I thought that that's who I was. I thought I was a personal trainer. I thought I was gonna work in a gym for a very long time and that's just who I was. And I said, well, wait a minute, that's not gonna get me the life that I want. So I actually recreated who I thought I was. And that is a damn exciting thing. And I think a lot of people that are on their journey to stop drinking don't realize the power of what can happen afterwards. The dream that they've got, the things that they want, well, they can design the person that they need to become to achieve the dream. And it's exactly what I've done. So my first dream was to move to Asia and it was to work online and to build these skills. The next dream was to actually become an entrepreneur and apply those skills in my own business. And that's what's happened. I created Soberclay. So I've gone from personal trainer to freelancer, to marketer, to now coach, and now entrepreneur. And I've basically been able to recreate myself every single step of the journey. And listen, that is so exciting. You should be so excited about that. If you're about to embark on this journey, you can become somebody new. You can become the person that you wanted to be. And unlike when you drink, when you make a little bit of progress and then go back down and go back up and go back down, the progress becomes a lot more linear. It becomes, you know, one step in front of the other. That is so exciting. And it's one of the best things that's happened on my journey. I've recreated myself. I've become the person that I wanted to be. And I'm getting goosebumps telling you this because it's so cool. And I'm so excited for you guys that are about to embark on this journey because that can happen for you as well. Now, the third major benefit that I've had is that I've had some major strength gains. Might not be so relevant to everybody out there, but I've got a lot stronger. Even when I drank, I still went to the gym. It wasn't as regularly as I wanted to, but... I always considered myself as somebody that would keep an active lifestyle. Drinking got in the way of that. Drinking meant that I wasn't consistent. Drinking meant that I didn't commit, the food wasn't right, the, the, the nutrition wasn't right, and so on and so forth. 
These days, I train harder, I train more consistent, my nutrition is better, I've got the right intensity, and as a result of doing those things, I've got a lot physically stronger. I think my bench press is about 120 kg, the squat is at about 190, and the deadlift is just over 200. Something around that. I've not done a one rep max test in a while, but these were numbers that I wanted to hit when I was drinking, but I just could never really keep going in that direction. So I've got a lot stronger. Now, the fourth thing is that I make a lot more money now. Now, I'm gonna explain how this has happened. So I used to see myself as a personal trainer. And when I was a personal trainer, I could deliver value to people in my local area, people in the gym, maybe a little bit of stuff online, but that wasn't the focus. The focus was to get customers that came to the gym. Now, like I said, I have recreated my character to be somebody that creates content on the internet. And money is a reflection of how many people you can help. Now, just by recreating my identity to be somebody that puts content on the internet and helps tens of thousands of people a month for free, my income has gone up. A lot of people out there really resonate with what I say. They like the idea of the first principles mental model. They like the idea of focusing on the future, of going towards a better quality of life instead of beating yourself up in the past. And as a result of that, I get customers in a coaching program. So just by the sheer magnitude of people that I now help compared to when I was a personal trainer, my income has gone up. Not only is it a result of recreating my identity, but it's also a result of being a more valuable person. I've learned skills that I didn't have before. I've got more clarity, I've got more energy, I'm more productive, I know what I wanna do, and that is all translated into more money. And I think that's a very exciting thing. I think a lot of people that are drinking alcohol, they don't realize how much money they could be making. Sure, they can calculate how much money they're actually spending on alcohol, but if we actually break down how much they could be making extra, people are leaving tens of thousands of dollars on the table. Whether that means progressing faster in your career, starting a side business, starting a new company, getting more clients in your current business, the amount of money that people leave on the table is absurd. And when you stop drinking and you become more valuable and you get more organized and you get more ambition and you get more motivation and whatever it is, your income will naturally go up. That is so damn exciting. I mean, who doesn't want more money? More money means that you can take care of your family. It means that you can travel more. It means that you can have more freedom. You can invest more. When you stop drinking, you can definitely make a ton more money. That is cool. Now, the fifth great thing that's happened is I now have a very good relationship. In the past, when I drank alcohol, my relationships weren't really that good. A lot of the times they'd revolve around drinking and they wouldn't really revolve around a deep loving connection. The relationship I have with my partner now, it's deep, it's meaningful. There's a real connection there. We love spending time together. There's no alcohol revolved around the relationship. So there's no kind of peaks and troughs and arguments. It's a very consistent, nice relationship. And I think that's partly due to her being amazing, but it's also down to the person I became. I became somebody that could show up in the relationship, somebody that could provide value in the relationship, somebody that could actually give a lot of love to another person. That was not possible when I drank. I was selfish, I didn't really care about other people, I just wanted to do my own thing, and if I had a girlfriend at the time, I wouldn't even wanna to speak to them. If I'd been drinking, I just, you know, I just wanna lie on the couch or do whatever. But these days is totally different. The relationship I have is beautiful. And for you guys watching this, that is exciting. That might mean that your current relationship, you put more into it. That might mean that you go and get a new relationship, you start dating again. Your relationship with a significant other can improve drastically. So that's pretty cool. Now, the sixth thing is skill development. I wanna talk about skill development. So when I first stopped drinking, I didn't really have any skills. And like I said before, I got this this, this, this freelance work, I started working with this company, doing video marketing, building a YouTube channel for them, and really started to build these skills. Now, because I'm not drinking, I have a lot more clarity, I can learn a lot quicker, I actually want to learn because I can see how learning these new things can get me things that I want in the future. Basically, the, the knowledge that I'm acquiring is compounding now. So at first, I'm learning YouTube, I'm learning marketing, I'm learning how to create content, I'm learning how to shoot videos, I'm learning all of these skills that now translate into the business that I'm doing today, which is sober clear. In terms of business, I had to learn videography, I had to learn content creation, I had to learn sales, I had to learn marketing, I had to learn coaching, I had to learn fulfillment, I had to create an online program, I had to master how to really get people to get 100% control of their drinking. I had to learn so many different skills. And I'm not just talking about business skills, I learned CrossFit, I got better at powerlifting, I read a lot more, I learned how to ride a motorbike, my spiritual practice became a lot better, and overall, my skills have gone up. And I enjoy learning now, it's not a drag. Before, if I had to learn something, I might you know, have half an hour of time where I could kind of sit down and focus. I've got no problem now going through a course for five hours, taking a crap ton of notes, applying it, learning all of this stuff. And I really enjoy developing my skills. And as a result of learning more and, and developing better skills, my life has just improved in every single way, from health, to business, to relationships, to finances, everything has gone up. And for you guys watching this, 
you can develop new skills. That is exciting. That might mean that you develop a new hobby. That might mean that you develop a new business skill. It could mean anything. And that is so exciting. Learning new skills is so much fun. Now guys, the seventh great benefit that I found from stopping drinking is I actually hired my own coach. I'm under the impression these days that I don't wanna go through difficult things alone. So I actually hired a business coach to help me with my business. The manager's name is Austin Netsley. He has a company called 2X. And I ended up joining his program. I paid $10,000 to join this program because I'm not interested in trying to find solutions on my own anymore. Hiring a coach was something that I always wanted to do. I always knew that I wanted to work with coaches. When I reach a certain level, I wanna have a team of coaches that are helping me in every single area of my life. Because what I found is that people design systems that you can follow that help you on your journey. That's what I do in my business. I focus on alcohol. I focus on creating a step-by-step -step system for people to follow to get 100% control of their drinking. So when it comes to my personal life, I wanna find systems for everything. I wanna find somebody that can help me with my business. I wanna find someone that can help me with nutrition, with meditation. And basically I would like to get a team of coaches. But the cool thing is, is now that I've got my first coach. And the cool thing is a couple of weeks ago, I got this coach, $10,000, we're working one-on-one. -on -one. And it's really changed the game. It's given me a new level of accountability. It's, I mean, I've been making so many YouTube videos lately because I'm so motivated because I've got this new level of accountability. And I've also got a system to follow. Those two things make such a big difference. So being able to hire my own coach was just so cool. Now, the eighth awesome thing that's happened is I've actually hired a full-time marketing manager. His name is Gleb and he is awesome. Now, he's going to be watching this, so I can't say too much, right? I, can't, I don't want to embarrass him because he's going to be editing this video. He doesn't know what I'm saying right now. But I've been able to give somebody a job. I've been able to provide money to somebody so he can go and live his life. And that's, that's a big mindset shift for me because I never really hired somebody full time before and he's just crushing it. He's editing all these videos. That's why we're making so many videos at the moment because Gleb is helping out. So if you wanna leave a message to Gleb, let him know in the comments below, shout out to Gleb. And that's cool. When I drank, I was a loser. I'm not, I, I, I just like didn't have much going for me. And I'm not saying that you guys are like that by any means. That's just my experience with drinking. I was at the bottom of the bottom when I got sober and now it's kind of shifted. Like I've actually employed somebody. That is just so damn exciting. Now the ninth amazing benefit is that my productivity is so much higher. This is down to a couple of things. Number one is that I manage my time a lot better. I use a calendar, I plan my days, I write down a time and I write down what I've got to do during that time and I really just go for it. But the second reason why I'm more productive, it boils down to clarity. These days, I really know what I want. So I have no problem working hard as hell to go after what I want. So productivity has just gone sky high. And it, I was productive during the first couple of years, but it's even better now. I've got more intensity, I've got more focus, and I've also got Gleb helping, so we can end up creating a ton more. And I'm excited because I'm gonna take on somebody soon to help with the coaching side of things, somebody to help with the sales side of things, and the business is slowly growing, but the reason why it's growing is because I've been so productive for months upon months upon months upon months, setting up all of these systems, building this YouTube channel, creating all of this stuff, creating the program, creating the coaching program and all of that. I've been so busy doing this stuff that now it's got to a great position. It's almost like I'm trying to get ahead. I'm kind of making up for lost time. That is exciting. And if you are thinking of stopping drinking, just wait till you see how much more productive you are. It's going to blow you away. Anyway, guys, the 10th and final benefit that I want to share with you is how I feel like I'm going to reach my potential. I really feel now that I'm living on the knife's edge. I'm no longer worried about whether or not I'm going to do something good with my life. Back when I was drinking, that was my fear. My fear was that I would get to 90 years of age or 80 years of age and look back and say, well, what did I even try and do? Like, what was the point of all that? It doesn't feel like that anymore. It feels like the opposite. I really feel like I'm, I'm living at the edge. I'm really pushing things as hard as I can. And I feel satisfied. I feel like there is a chance that I'll hit my potential. And if you ask me, that's the point of life is to see how far you can really push it. So that is so exciting. Anyway, guys, if you click the videos on the screen now, you can learn more about the one thing that got me to stop drinking forever as well as some anxiety and stopping drinking related content. Thanks.